Hello again everybody and welcome back. Today I've decided to make it a little bit lighter and we're going to make a salad. So, a cup of tea. I have a broccoli floret, a whole head of broccoli and I've cut them up into teeny tiny little florets, okay? And I have a bowl of tomatoes. Ideally these should be little small cherry tomatoes. Uh, you know those sweet juicy ones are, are best but I don't have them so just pretend these are little tomatoes. And then I have my roasted hazelnuts. Now you can buy these uh, already roasted like this, or you can buy them with the skins on. You just have to roast them, rub the skins off, or you can buy them unroasted with the skins off, which to me is the best way because they're fresh, then you can roast them yourself. Just pop them in the oven for about five minutes, keep an eye on them. This is the color you want them to be, kind of toasty, but I have lost countless amounts of nuts by forgetting I put them on. Put a timer on. Last thing is some feta cheese. I've just cut it up into little blocks. Um, I love Polish feta cheese. It's just wonderfully tasty, creamier. So I'm using that today. So basically, throw everything in together and mix, mix them around. Now, Tony likes, actually my husband likes to, um, there's a little bit of, still a little bit of um, skin on there. Take, try and get as much skin off as you can because the skin is bitter. Tony likes to actually put the hazelnuts in here and bash them up. Um, he just thinks they're nicer rather than getting a big chunk. So you can do it either way. But mix everything up together first because when you add your cheese, you don't want to be mixing too much or your cheese breaks up and you don't get that visual look of all the different colors. So I'm just going to pop in the cheese here gently. You're just gently going to try and distribute the cheese around. And just gently lift it through. your salad and you can leave it like that but what I like to do is make my own dressing but with it. We keep all our jam jars. We were in Canada a few years ago and uh, we were in James and Patty's house and they had jam jars as glasses and I thought that is such a good idea. We go through so many jars and they're actually tougher than glasses. I should say we go through many glasses. Anyway here I wanted to also show you the difference between spoons just in case you don't know this is a tablespoon this is a dessert spoon and this is a teaspoon okay for this recipe we're using a tablespoon and we're going to pour six tablespoons of olive oil in here four five six now if you don't want to make as much dressing you can just use a dessert spoon and just keep all your measurements equi. This is two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of honey, and get as much as I like there as I can. This makes it nice and sweet. And then I have just one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And if you don't have Dijon mustard, you could use whole grain mustard. And the Dijon gives it that nice spice. Now, all the recipes call for you to whisk this together, but I've come up with a little trick. And I just cover this with cling film, if you can get the cling film open. And I just double wrap the jam jar and cling film. Make sure it's nice and tight. You can just shake. Shake, 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 shake. Okay. And as you can see, the texture of this has changed completely. And it's nice and thick and creamy. And then you just drizzle that over the top. Or you can serve it on the side if there's some people who don't want dressing. Hazelnut, broccoli, 
tomato and cheese salad with a balsamic vinaigrette dressing. I'm keeping it light and simple today. I was talking to a couple of different friends and they were saying how, you know, some days you have, you know, a kind of a down day. And uh, I think the way it goes is every few days you're going grand and then you just go, what is actually happening? So I think I'm having a, what's actually happening from grand? So keep it light and simple. Hopefully see you again soon.